Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how I carried my camera on the CDT. This is my Sony Nex 7 mirrorless camera and um, I've searched for years how to carry a camera on trail. I've had you know various things like the little uh, clip that you put here, you know strap around the neck, all these different things. There's always something I didn't like about it. Um, mainly for me, uh, I just want something that's sturdy, that the camera's not going to flop around a lot when you're climbing and jumping over rivers and things. Um, I want it quickly accessible because that's the whole point of having a camera. If you got to dig it out of your pack, you're never going to get the picture, right? Um, and just lightweight. So this is what I came up with. There's a company called uh, Optech, OP slash tech. They make these clips here and I bought two sets. And uh, each set comes with a male and a female end. So what I did, so I'll take this case off here so you can kind of see the camera a little bit better. So what I did was I tied the male ends onto the, uh, whatever you want to call this little uh, triangular piece here, tied it on with a piece of uh, guy line. I made a loop here. And then I took the Optech um, strap and I looped it around this, pulled it through. Okay, so let me show you a little bit more detail on the loop that I made here out of my guy line. This is a Dyneema cord, by the way. I believe it's Dyneema cord. It's a couple years old for my uh, hammock guy lines. And uh, it's what I had on hand, so that's what I'm using. Held up really well on the CDT, 3,000 miles with this one loop, never broke. Um, anyways, we're gonna tie a bowline knot here. Um, so you just make a little loop like this, come through the loop, around this side and back through the little loop you just made. You can look up bowline knot on your own because I know this isn't the greatest tutorial. I'm not a master knotsman. I'm just showing you what I tied. And there you got a nice, nice tight knot. These bowline knots are really good for uh, things that you cinch down like this. It's not going to come undone. And um, I'll trim this up a little bit here. So there's our loop. And the whole purpose of doing this loop is so that when you put this strap through here, um, it moves a bit more freely. If you just put this strap right through this triangular piece here, it's going to be a little bit more rigid in uh, the way the camera moves. and Personally, I just think it just moved a little bit better. Now we're going to attach this strap through this loop here by looping it through itself. So there it is. It moves nice and freely. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now the camera has these straps on this end, both the male ends. So the female ends. What I did with these was I took key rings and again I, you know, looped, um, I put the strap through and, and pulled it and looped it through. So you got these two. And now let's see what the whole setup weighs. Nice, nice even one ounce, 0.9. Now on the backpack, on the shoulder strap, at least on my Osprey, I've got this uh, little loop here, and I think it's to put your uh, bladder hose in. So you take the key ring, and just kind of thread it onto the uh, little loop there. So now that hangs off there. Same thing on the other side. Now we'll put it on. I'll show you how this setup works. All right, now you just take the male end, insert it into the female end. 
Now it's gonna be bouncing all over the place, right? Not anymore, you take your sternum strap, strap it down, and sure you get a little bit of movement, but this is way more secure. You know, you can see how little movement there is, you know, versus just jumping around and, you know, climbing over boulders and stuff. It really eliminates a lot of that. The way I carry this is I keep it in the case and protect it during the day. And when I'm hiking, hiking along the trail, I see something I want to take a picture of. I'll stop, take off my sternum strap, unbuckle one of the clips here on my case and it's ready to go. I take off my uh, lens cap and so that's just seconds. You know, you put it on and look at, we're already back to hiking on the trail. So that's it from packed to ready to take a picture in what, three seconds? It's lightweight, cheap, and it does the job. Let me know what you think. If you have a better solution, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you found it useful, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. See you next time.